This video is brought to you by Shardmas Prime.net. Pre order your Shardmas Prime Legendary Collector t shirts at Shardmas Prime.net. Back! Sir, right? Do you also? Any of them? No? No? Hey! What's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Black Panther movie Okoye Build-A-Figure Waves Invincible Iron Man. I did pick this up at Comic and Figure Addicts. If you're here in the San Francisco Bay Area and you want to get your comics and your figures, go to Comic and Figure Addicts. If not, you can get it right now. Big, big, big! Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com Click the link in the description below. I can already tell from the packaging we're getting some reuse used parts right here on the figure. It's like you're not even trying anymore. The whole figure is brand new, Shardimus! Anyway, on the side, I love that we get this nice colored image of the Invincible Iron Man. It looks great. And on the very back, you can see a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. There are the other figures from the wave. And then on the side, you can see that same image again. And then we get an Iron Man logo at the top. And there's not much more on the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Invincible Iron Man figure out of the packaging. And I love this figure. I am very, very happy with this. I honestly think this is one of the best Iron Man figures that we've gotten from Hasbro in a very long time. Actually, I'm going to go so far to say that this is really one of the best Marvel Legends Iron Man figures Period. I really love this piece a lot. He doesn't come with a Build-A-Figure piece, but he does come with a good number of accessories. So let's get a closer look at those, and then we'll get a closer look at Iron Man. It's not a ton of accessories, but it's just right. In my opinion, I think this is just the right amount of accessories for this figure. We get the two interchangeable heads, which we'll get a closer look at later on. And then we get these effects, which we have seen before, but I love that Hasbro does just something slightly different to these every time we get a new set of them. Uh, looking at the previous set, you could say, you know, hey, isn't that exactly exactly the same, but it's not. There's just this very subtle bit of frosty paint on these newer ones right over here that I like, which is easier to see if I have a black backdrop, but you can see the little bit of sparkles right here on this bottom one right there. You can see that? See how it shimmers a little bit? And this one, it's just straight translucent blue plastic. It has no shimmer to it. So I love that they added that little bit right there. I don't know, I'm still on the fence though. The first one that came out, I do like having that white paint on it though too. So I gotta say though, I do like that they do something a little bit different with these every time we get a new set. Then we get interchangeable hands that have this beautiful blue paint over here. I really like it. Looks really good. Nice little gunmetal bits right there and the gold. Looks nice, and he has holes right there, and you could go ahead and port one of these effects right on there. That's pretty sweet. Unfortunately, there is no hinge right over here on this joint, so you do want to be careful with that. I thought it could bend, but it does not. Uh, the fisted hands right here, they do have a hinge, so you can move those up and down. So yeah, I think these came out looking really good. And we also get this blaster effect right over here that comes out of the armor. It has some nice details, you know, you can see the nice lines sculpted in there and everything. Uh, from what I remember, this Iron Man suit, it's kind of like a bleeding edge. Iron Man suit where it comes out of his skin so he could change what the armor is going to be you know so he could forge weapons out of it but you can go ahead and just clip this on right here and this is just one example of the many different kinds of weapons that he can make but yeah you could either put it on the left side or you could put it on the right side but I think it looks really good right over there sitting on top of the forearm and then you could of course go ahead and add a blast effect and port it right in there and put your chow so here's looking at the Tony Stark head sculpt and I do like it I think this is a very good looking head sculpt my only gripe being that I think the flesh tone is a little bit brighter than I think it really needs to be. But still, I think the paint came out really clean on this. I like the very softly sculpted wrinkles that we see on the cheekbones and on the forehead right over there. He has nice bright blue eyes. I like how the mustache and goatee came out. Very nice hair. This is how he looks in the comics nowadays, so I think that is awesome. I would like to see a hologram version of this because he is in a coma right now. I did have a little piece of black paint or plastic at the tip of one of these little spikes keys right here. I just picked it off really quick. You know, not a big deal. But yeah, really nice looking head sculpt. I'm very pleased with this. And of course you could pop it off. And it's a little on the loose side on this figure just because I did have to see how it looked on a chameleon body mold. And it is a tight fit, but it will fit on there and it looks pretty good. I'm pleased with that. The only thing is that the flesh tone does not match. You can see we get a darker flesh tone, which I do prefer than this much lighter tone that you could see right over there. 
Yeah, and looking at the Iron Man helmet that comes with this guy, I think this looks great. I love that light blue right there. And the gold came out looking really good, and I love the red on this figure just throughout. I think they did a great job with it. You can still see some very subtle marbling, but it's much better than what we've seen in the past. You can still see the little bit of shimmering in there in the plastic, so I love that. See, the marbling is very subtle. Still there, but man, I think they've done a much better job with this. Love how this gunmetal gray looks. I love the gunmetal gray. And the arc reactor right over here is just painted a little off center. You can see they kind of just missed the mark a little bit. But yeah, looking at the chest, you get this huge piece of plastic right over here, and it looks really clean. I really dig it. We get some touches of gunmetal right there. The gold looks really good. I do have a little bit of schlop right over here on the forearm and on that hand. A little bothersome, but not the worst thing. I think there's one other spot on the figure. Uh, not a lot of paint right here on the back. I wish they could have added maybe just a little bit of gunmetal gray to it. But for the most part, I'm very pleased with this. I think it looks awesome. I do feel like his hips are a little on the wide side in some shots, but it's not bad enough to really frustrate me. And then here's looking at the thighs, not looking too shabby at all, Iron Man. Ah, there's some more splotchage, so you get some extra gunmetal that leaked right over there. Now, one gripe I do have is I feel like this is a bit warped over here at the ankle. You can see that, I don't know, the foot isn't really sticking away from the ankle straight ahead. It's got this weird angle to it. Not so much on the left side, but on the right side right there. So I may need to heat that up. And I also wish that they had the ports right over here a little bit more towards the center. And I wish there was some kind of sculpting, you know, so you could see, you know, some kind of propulsion mechanism right here at the bottom of the foot. I think that's just a little bit lame, just having, you know, the flat feet with the copyright info on there. But of course, you can go ahead and take any of these and just port it right over there. So that does work, but see what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like it should come from the middle of the foot more so than the very back. Now I'm very pleased with the articulation on this figure. Uh, you can move his head up very far, and you can do that with both of the heads, and you can move it all the way down. You get side to side motion right there, and no real head pivot. Uh, the shoulder joints are a little on the stiff side at first. I wish they could move outward a little bit more than that, but you can get him moving outward like that if you wanted to rotate forward, which they could do a full 360 right here, but you can get it moving outward like that if you wanted to, or above his head like so if you really need to and then you get a bicep swivel you get great double jointed elbows right here and we already talked about the wrist articulation and then he has an ab crunch that I wish could move a little bit more forward but that's still a really good amount and he can move back even more so it seems I had a really tough time getting this waist joint loose it was very stuck on me at first but it did loosen up on me with just a little bit of force uh, you can get the hip joints moving outward very far and he will kick forward and not back so much he has an upper thigh cut double jointed knee and then the ankles do move down, they move up, and he has great ankle pivot. Now measuring out this Iron Man figure, you can see that he's standing just under seven inches tall. And then for your Invincible Iron Man comparison, we have the three three quarter inch Marvel Universe or Marvel Legends series Iron Man right there next to the six inch version. Uh, one thing I'm noticing a difference between these two aside from the different weapons, which is fine, uh, but there's more lines right over here on the upper torso that I'm seeing on this guy that we're not getting so much on this one, but I am realizing that the shoulders are cut in more into the torso for more arm articulation on this one. You can see the gun metal, you know, all lined out right over there where we're not getting that so much on that one. And then for a comic book Iron Man comparison, we have the extremist armor Iron Man right there, and then we have the bleeding edge armor Iron Man. And one thing, I mean, I really like this figure a lot, but the marbleization in the paint, it just doesn't really look so good. This one really has all the kind of articulation that I like from this one, but it has better paint apps, I think, anyway. And I thought that they had reused parts from at least one of these two figures, but nope, it looks like this whole thing is brand new. And then comparing this Invincible Iron Man figure next to a couple other all new, all different Avengers, we have the Jane Foster Thor and the Sam Wilson Captain America. And then you can see this Invincible Iron Man figure is just a little bit taller than your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And then here's the Invincible Iron Man figure up on a Mafex stand. And one thing I didn't really get into is how happy I am that this guy completes my all new, all different Avengers display. So I'm very stoked about that. It's one other reason why I really like this figure so much, but the figure on its own has a lot of awesome qualities. I love the paint apps on this. I like the sculpted detail. I love the articulation. I like the accessories. So I'm very, very happy with this piece. And I hope you guys are very happy with this review. If you are, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think 
length of this video. Please share the video if you liked it that much. Also, if you want to see more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell. I will be reviewing the rest of this wave throughout the week, but I will be taking breaks here and there to review other figures. I do have a Hot Toys Hulkbuster that I'm borrowing to review that I'll be posting up later this week. Also, uh, be sure to check out the Legendary Collector t-shirts that are available for pre-order at ShardimusPrime.net. I think it's a pretty cool design, so if you want to help support the channel and you want to get a cool t-shirt, check out the Legendary Collector t-shirts link below. You gotta thank all these people over here for supporting this YouTube channel, and you guys do get a 15% discount coupon code on the Patreon page. Also, if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at MarvelousNews.com and ShardimusPrime.net, and don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything in the description below, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with the toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what strangers say. I'm gonna play with the toys today. That's crispy. Hey, new Shard of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.